Okay, we are doing uh, homework 2-2. So question number one. If a partial payment is made on a loan, interest is computed on the principal from the first day of the loan until the date of the partial payment. This is known as a United States rule. So if partial payment is made on a loan, you are making partial, not entire payment, and the uh, interest rate, interest is computed on the principal from the first day of the loan until the date of the partial payment. And this, uh, the, this is known as a United States uh, rule. Let's check. Excellent. Question number two, what do we have here? Um, we need to find personal uh, with simple interest, okay? And we assume the rate is, in, uh, is an annual rate. If it doesn't say what uh, kind of rate it is, a uh, rate for daily basis, for semi-annual, uh, quarterly, then we assume, take it as an annual. Assume 360 days in a year. Just so you know, for the bank, there, is, there are 360 days, not 365. So everything that uh, bank, anything bank can benefit. So 360 days would be uh, beneficial to bank. So they use 360 days. Don't ask me why amount of days in a year that bank use uh, bank use for calculation okay so what do we have here now we have um, let me see our uh, principal thousand dollars We have rate six and one half percent. We have time is a uh, nine months. Okay, and we need to find uh, simple interest. We need to find simple interest. Okay, so I is equal question mark. All right, so since uh, rate doesn't give me when, uh, the, for how long, it's uh, uh, at uh, six and a half, it's uh, per day or uh, at the per quarter, or then we are accepting as an annual. Okay, so rate that is equal six and a half percent. We always need to convert into a decimal notation, right? Okay, so that's going to be how much? Uh, it's going to be 6 and uh, 1 half, it's zero 0.5, right? Which means zero, 6.5, correct? That's going to be 6.5% in decimal notation. So if I convert to, um, um, the, the, uh, I mean, not decimal, not, well, percentage in the form of decimal notation, but if I convert this percentage into decimal, now, notation, I'm going to get 0 0.065. As you remember, we don't work in percentage format. We work in decimal notation format. Okay? So, that's there. And then now months, we are working with months. And our uh, at the rate is annual. So, it has to be uh, the same measurement. Here is month, here is annual, which means one year, which means... T, nine month, I'm going to uh, represent in the, as a portion of uh, year, which means as nine, it, it measures in month and one year is 12 months, right? Okay, so that's gonna be reduced by three, is three. Twelve by three is four, three fourth. 
uh, of the um, year it's gonna be right or I can put 0. Point, uh, or uh, 0. 0.75 of the year correct so let's solve it now so simple interest is equal principal times ratio times time so principal is thousand dollars rate i mean uh in the formula i said ratio i'm sorry rate uh times our rate is uh, 0 0.065 yes and multiply by the time is 0 0.75 of years and what do we get let me uh, multiply. So um, 0 0.065 times 0 0.75. That's going to be, let's see, 1,000 times 0 0.04875. Since multiplying by 1,000, so I'm moving by three positions to the right, three zeros. One, two, three. So interest is going to be 48.75 uh, dollars, right? Okay, let's write down. Oops, I click complete. Oh, God. Dollars. Okay, let's put the answer. For the eight point seventy five. Well done. Moving to next one. Determine the simple, simple interest. Assume 365 days in a year. Okay, so uh, what do we have? Principal, 42,352. Uh, Let me take a picture of it so I can write down data. Okay, uh, ratio 0 0.0875 per day. So ratio goes uh, the uh, mature per day. And we have... Uh, t is equal 30 days. So one thing is good everywhere we have days. When you have ratio for uh, the annually or T per day, so you have to convert one to another and make sure uh, you have the same uh, measurement. If uh, both of them have to be uh, annually or both of them have to be in days or both of them have to be uh, in uh, semi-annually. So shortly saying the measurement has to be the same. All right, so let's uh, see what we have. Principal is $42,362. Uh, rate is 0.0875%. Per day. And time is 30 days. We need to find simple interest. Okay, again, simple interest is equal P R T. So here uh, everything uh, is uh, the, has the same measurement. Both of them are a day uh, in a day. Uh, in days, so all we're gonna do is just um, uh, convert, uh, uh, not convert, just multiply by each other. So the only thing I am going to represent in the format of uh, decimal notation is gonna be uh, rate. Rate is equal 0.0875%, which in the form of decimal notation, I have to divide by 100, which is two position to the left. So it's gonna be, 
So its point is here, so two position one and two. So it's going to be 0 0.000875. Okay, interest is going to be equal P, uh, principal P, 42,362 times uh, rate uh, 0 0.00875. Okay, and um, we multiply by 30 days. Yes? All right. So from here, what do we get? Let me see. 42,362 times 0 0.000875 times 30. Okay, it's going to be 1,112.0025. So it says do not round the number. So let me write down. Uh, do not round until the final answer, then round to the nearest cent near recent it's a two digits right to the, the digit in the decimal format so this is going to be 1112 point okay zero zero okay let me put that zero zero Is it possible I have to do point uh, comma here? Let's multiply over again. One more time. Let's double check. So, four, two, three, four, two, three, five, two times. Uh, it's going to be one, two, three, zero, zero point uh, one, two, three. 875 and times uh, 30. Oh, 111174 this time. Okay. One 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 point seven four. Very good. Moving to next question. So, what do we have here? Let's read it up. So, uh, the um, principal is 1525. Rate is question mark. Looks like we need to find rate. Uh, T is uh, two years, time period is two years, and interest is uh, 42.70. Okay, so we need to find in uh, the rate in percentage. Let's do it. Let me write down. Principal is one five two five we have t is equal to years we have interest forty two dollars it's gonna be dollars forty two dollars seventy cents we need to find rate okay how do we find rate uh, we know that i interest is equal p r t okay i put uppercase doesn't matter let me put lowercase r is our unknown we need to find our r so to get r i'm going to Divide here by P and T, right? Which means here also I divide by P and T. 
So from here, P and P canceling, T and T canceling, and I'm getting R is equal I over P T. This is my R left over, and I just rewrite it uh, I over P T. Okay, so from here, uh, I is um, 42.7 divided by PT 1525 and time is 2. Okay. So what do we have here? 42.7. Okay, I can't reduce by anything, so what I'm going to do, let's uh, rewrite this way, 42.7, and we divide by 1,525 times, I can write down this way, so it won't look like decimal. Okay, so two times five is 10, one in mind, two times two, four, and one is gonna be five, two times five, is 10, one in mind, two times two is two, and one will be three, 3,050. So from here, 42.7 divided by 3,050. And the result we're gonna get 0 0.014, but that's a decimal notation. In the form of percentage, we need to multiply by 100, right? 1 and 2. It's going to be 1.4%. Okay? So this is going to be 1.4%. Point four. Fantastic. Moving to question number five. Let's see what we have in this question here. So use simple interest uh, formula to determine missing value. Okay, we can do that. Let me take a picture of data. So, let's write down. Our P. Use the simple interest formula to determine missing value. P is equal question mark. We need to find out principal. Rate is 4%. T is nine month and I interest is $72. Okay, so it doesn't say this percent uh, annually, 4% is annually or per day or whatever. If it doesn't say, then we take it annually. And T is our T is in month, so we need to convert it a rate to a per month or time to year because a rate is per year, time is per month. So I'm going to convert time to months to year, which is going to be, we have nine months and one year is 12 months, right? By three is three, by three is four. It's going to be three fourth or 0 0.75 years of the year. Okay, so P principal is equal P, oh, hold on, interest is equal principal rate time. So from here, we need to find principal. This is the one unknown. What way I'm going to do? Divide by RT, right? Since all multiplication, I need to get rid of RT, which will cancel. And the same di di the division I do here, RT. And from here, I have principal is equal I 
over rate times t, which is going to be equal. My interest is 72. Rate is 4, which is uh, 0 0.04, right? Decimal notation. And times uh, t is 0 0.75. Okay, let's see how much we're going to get. And what do we have? So, 0 0.04 times 0 0.75 is 0 0.03. So, 72 times 0 0.75 is 72. Divided 0 0.03, and I'm getting 2,400. So principal is going to be $2,400. Okay, so let me place. $2,400. Okay. Very good. Moving to uh, next question, which is going to be question number six. Okay, what do we have here? Let's start reading so we can figure out how to solve it. Um, a man uses a loan program for small business. To obtain a loan to help expand his vending machine business. Okay. The man borrows $20,000. Borrows $20,000 for three years. Time is three years. Okay. So... It's going to be principal 20,000, three years is going to be time, and simple interest, which I, is going to be 1.7%. Determine the amount of money the man must repay after three years, which is interest plus but the, the principal, right? So the money you borrow... In three years, you have to return the borrowed money plus the interest uh, uh, from that um, 20000 with 1.7% rate. Okay, let's solve it. So, let me write down. Our principal is $20,000. Time is three years. Okay, interest is, um, oh, rate, 1.7%. I believe so. Let me double check. Yes, 1.7%. Okay, let's solve it then. So we need to find the um, money we have to return in three years. So the money we have to return in three years is going to be principal with 24,000 we used and plus our interest, right? On this 20,000. So this 20,000 we have, all we need to find out our interest. Okay, interest is equal PRT. So we have everything, uh, so all we have to do is just plug in. So 1.7, this is equal 0 0.017, moved by two positions, right? And uh, interest is going to be 20,000 times rate 0 0.017 times T is free. Okay. So what do we get? 0 0.017 times 3. I'm getting 0 0.051 and times uh, 20,000. I am getting 1,020. 1,020. So this is my interest. So I have to return um, 
the principal that I borrowed, 20,000, and the interest uh, for 1.7% for the three years, right? And that is gonna be equal 2,040, okay. Oh, 20,000, I'm sorry, 20,000 plus 1,020. 21,020, okay, hold on. Okay, let's place the answer. Excellent. Moving to question number seven. So what do we have here? A woman borrowed 3,700 from a bank for six months. Okay, let me take a note. 3,700, that's a principal money. And time is six months. All right. A friend was co-signer of the woman's personal note. All right. The bank collected three and a half percent simple interest. The rate is three and a half percent. 3.5, you see the three and one half. Percent simple interest on the date of maturity. Okay, on the date of maturity is gonna be in six months. Okay, so how much did woman pay for the use of the money? All right, let's go and solve. First question. So let me write down what we have, um, principal, 3,700, time, six months, um, rate, so three and one half, I put 3.5%. Okay, which is going to be 0 0.035. All right. So, well, let's see what we're going to do. Okay. Since it's uh, uh, the talking about months and rate is annual, we are going to find how many, uh, uh, what portion of year at the time is going to be. T is equal 6 over 12, which is equal 1 half, right? Or 0 0.5, 0 0.5 of the year, half a year. Yes? Okay, rate we have 0 0.035. Okay, so next we need to find the interest. Interest is going to be equal PRT. P is 3,700. R is uh, ratio 0 0.035. And time is 0 0.5. And how much we get? Let me see. 3,700 times 0 0.035 and times 0 0.5. And I'm getting $64.75. Uh, Let me double check again. Okay. Maybe my calculator. 3,700 times 0 0.035 times 0 0.5, $64.75, that's the interest. Okay, so the woman paid uh, 
cents for the use of money. Let's write down. $64.75. Excellent. And we have second question to find out. Determine the amount she repaid in the to the bank on the due date of the note. Okay. Here, what we're going to do, we have $64.75. That's an interest. And we borrowed originally $3,700, right? So this interest plus 3,700, and we are getting 3,764.75. Excellent. All right. Uh, the rest I will solve in uh, at the do in the next video, so it won't be too long. Okay. So let's just stop with question number seven, and the rest. Oh well, never mind. We already solved question number seven. Yeah, I will continue from question number eight.